And thanks so much. Today we get to talk about a very important topic and a big event happening this weekend. Operation Underground Railroad is doing amazing work across the entire world. And we get to learn about it today and also talk about their gala coming up this weekend. Tyler Schwab is joining us now. He's an aftercare assistant. So we'll talk about your job in just a moment. But first, for people who might not know, tell us about OUR. Yeah, well, OUR is, is a nonprofit based here in Utah, and we rescue kids. That's what we were built for. That's what we do. Um, we have a team of former law enforcement, former Homeland Security, uh, former CIA that will actually go around the world, including here in the United States, uh, train local governments in, in rescue missions on how to rescue kids who are sexually exploited and trafficked uh, all over the world. And so, in short, that's what we do. And people kids. talk think about human trafficking, and they probably don't think it still exists, but talk about the fact that... It does, and not only on an international level, but even here in the United States. Yeah, there's more slaves today than there it's ever been at, at any point in human history. And right here in the United States, we are not, um, we, we're one of the biggest perpetrators of this crime. It's mm -hmm. Americans who travel across the world and engage in this kind of activity. And here in the United States, it's an estimated that we have around 300,000 kids who are sexually exploited right here in the United States. And we're talking children, innocent children. Yep. Oh my gracious, it's so terrible. Now let's talk about your job as an aftercare assistant, because I think this is interesting what you kind of go in and specialize in. Yeah, I love my job. And uh, Tim, when he founded the organization, he he wanted the rescue to, to, to come full circle. You can't just pull a kid out of a situation of exploitation and expect them to be okay. They need resources, they need care, they need to go back to their family if they've been uh, kidnapped or coerced and their family is a safe place. And, and that's my job at, at aftercare, at, at Operation Underground Railroad is to when our ops team rescues a kid out of a situation of slavery and exploitation, my job is to either to get them back home to their family if their family is a safe place, and if not, find reputable aftercare homes where they can be placed, and then once they're there, find out a little bit about who they are, what they want to accomplish, and then get resources in their hands to where they can accomplish whatever dream they have, whatever dream they want to they want to become. We've helped uh, kids go to school. We've helped kids study English. We have advocates all over the world that we've rescued that have that have achieved their dreams, working to achieve their dreams that are now advocates for the cause uh, against human trafficking. I think that's so great because obviously saving a child is a number one goal, but you need to help them once totally. they've done that to, to do what they need to do. Talk about um, what the group is kind of doing expanding and how OUR really the sky's the limit on kind of what the goals are for the organization. Yeah, word of our success has spread pretty fast, and so there's countries that are asking us to come in and help them save their kids. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's all about having the right resources and the right partnerships in place to be able to do that. And so part of that um, is looking at the countries that are most ready for us to come in, that have shown the most drive to go out and rescue those kids, going there, working with their local governments, working with their aftercare professionals, and getting a plan in place so once um, a child is pulled out of a situation of exploitation, that they go to a reputable aftercare center, and that the people that were selling them, um, that a prosecution is able to happen, and those people are able to be put in jail long term. So that message spreads to the whole world that if you sell a child, there will be consequences. Now let's talk about the event this weekend. People can still come and kind of help the mission and the group do what it, it does on a daily basis. Yeah, we're super excited. We, we get this gala every year in Salt Lake City. The state of Utah has been incredibly generous to us at OUR. And we have Glenn Beck coming to our gala, who is actually OUR's first donor. Mm -hmm. um, back s six years ago when Tim had this idea to privatize the rescue of children, you obviously need funding to be able to do that. And Glenn Beck heard his story, was moved by the story, spread that message to his audience, and Glenn's audience was the first that raised us our first million dollars. And ever since then, we've, we've been rescuing kids ever since and haven't looked back, and we're happy to have him back here in Salt Lake City to uh, go back to the beginning and reflect on what we've done in the past and the ways that we can rescue more kids in the future. Awesome, Tyler, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. More information on how you can get tickets or just to donate can be found on our website at abc4.com. Appreciate and, all you do um, for our you. community. I, I felt like I had to ask though, and I feel like I have to share it with you guys now. And it's, it, is, um, it is disturbing and I wanna warn you, but I, I feel it's my responsibility to tell you guys because it is the truth. And I believe if we all knew this, um, we would dedicate much more of ourselves to, to stopping it. Um, so when I, when I asked what child pornography entailed, yes, it's, it's nude images of, of boys and girls uh, under the age of 18. Um, but now because of high-speed internet, it's also videos very prominently. And uh, videos of kids, and by kids I mean prepubescent, visibly prepubescent. And uh, they make the distinction because, um, because of the internet and there's so much content, uh, these pedophiles are desensitized. Because of that, the kids are getting younger and the content is getting that much more devastating. 
so when this law enforcement officer told me this, I, I asked him how young are, are the young kids he's seeing, and he told me infants. And I, I have a six-month-old baby. So I said, what does that mean, you know? Like, what, what does an infant mean? And he said, with the umbilical cord still attached. I know it's so devastating to hear this, and I'm really sorry to share this, and I, but I'm grateful that you guys are listening because this is actually happening, and it's important that we, we know this and that, that it resonates with us so that we think about this in, 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 in our days and in our personal life. Um, so I asked them what happens in these videos, and you know, unspeakable things happen, but I'm, again, going to speak about them because I feel like if these kids are experiencing this, the least that, that they deserve is for us to hear what, what is actually happening to them. Um, so no, it's not just touching, there is, there is penetration.